Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission and Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss a very important topic of atomic and molecular physics. So guys, there are various types of questions which are like most expected ones in our upcoming exam. So one of the question is like to find the spectroscopic terms. Clear? Now, there are different processes to find the spectroscopic terms depending on the condition or depending on the question given to us. Now, there are mainly two types of questions we can expect. One is uh, corresponding to non-equivalent electron case and the other one is corresponding to equivalent electrons case. So right now in this video, I am going to talk about the Bright's scheme and in this scheme, how we are going to take the steps, how we are going to find the spectroscopic terms. Okay, so all these steps I am going to discuss with you because most of the students face difficulty in solving such kind of questions or in understanding the process corresponding to this type of question. So guys, after watching this video till the end, you will be able to know about each and everything uh, very clearly and you will be able to solve all the questions related to this topic very easily. Now, let's quickly start the discussion and let's talk about the complete process. So guys, as you can see, I have written the values here for ML1 and for ML2. Here, now from where we will get these values and will they be always same? No, they will not be always same. So on what factor they will depend? First of all, let me just tell you about the equivalent electron case. What we mean by equivalent electrons? Let's talk about N, P, 2. Here, so the principal quantum number N is same, okay? And corresponding to them, uh, that principal quantum number, how many electrons are present here? 2. Clear? Now next thing, what is the orbital? P orbital. So we select the values of L depending on the orbital we are having. So for S, P, D, F and so on to the values of L will be 0, 1, 2 and 3. Clear? Now, so here we are having P. Okay, so for that L value will be 1. This is the value of L. After knowing about the value of L, you can simply write the values of ML. ML will be minus L2 plus L. Clear? Simply you can consider that. And the difference between the L values should be 1. So like in this case minus 1, 0 and 1. Clear? Now next thing. So what you need to do, you need to write the same ML values in this way and in this way, okay, as well. So ML1 I have written 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 1. You can also write in exactly the same manner. Even if it will be 2, the d orbital will be given, then it will be 2. Okay, the value of L, then ML will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. So all those values you need to write as it is as we are writing. In this case. Next, after writing the values of ML1 and ML2, what you need to do next? See, 1 plus 1, 2. Write it here. 0 plus 1, 1. Minus 1 plus 1, it's going to be 0. Then, 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. Minus 1 plus 0, minus 1. Similarly, 1 and minus 1, 0. 0 and minus 1, minus 1. And your minus 2. Okay. Now you will observe one thing. That for the diagonal elements or diagonal values. Which are 2, 0 and minus 2. If you will see vertically the value of ML1. And horizontally the value of ML2. Both will be same. So like for 2 it's 1. And it is also 1. Clear for 2 only. Because the vertical values for this and this term will get changed. But for this one, it's going to remain same, 1, 1. Similarly for 0, it's like 0 and here also it's 0. Then same values. Similarly for minus 2, it's minus 1 and minus 1. So that means for diagonal elements, ML1 and ML2 are same. So for okay, ML1 and ML2. Same. Now guys, to 
to satisfy the Pauli's exclusion principle, it's important that any one of the uh, quantum numbers should be different. If ML1 and ML2 are same, so you can't take the same spin. Clear? So in that case, you have to take then in this case what will happen S1 and S2 if S1 you are taking half S2 you have to take minus half clear now in that case the total spin for these elements will be what only 0 which you can consider so S1 plus S2 will be 0 so for L is equal to 2 and 0 you don't need to write the negative value now you are writing the values of L Clear? So spin you will take as 0. Why? Because spin cannot be same now since the orbital quantum number values are same. Clear? So any one of the quantum numbers must be different to satisfy the Pauli's exclusion principle. So in this case spin if you are taking half, this one will take minus half. So total spin 0. Clear? Now rest. What is the remaining value? That is 1. Okay, so for 1, ML1 and ML2 are different. So for 1, ML1 and ML2 are different. Now you can take the same spin values as well. So which means uh, S1 if it is half, S2 can also be half. So total spin can also be 1. So in that case it is possible to take the same spin as well. But in this case you can't take the same spin. Clear? And since you can't take the same spin, total or the resultant spin will be 0 for this case. Okay, but for rest case, that is one, you don't need to worry about the things. And even guys, you must have been seen like these kind of different values we are going to get. Okay, 0, then minus 1, 0 and 1, then minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So these are like for L is equal to 2, for L is equal to 1, for L is equal to 0. Clear? So that's how you will now be able to simply solve the questions by making the possible combinations. Now what is the spectroscopic term notation? That will be 2s plus 1. This is this s. Okay. L and j. Now what are the values of j? J will vary from L minus s to L plus s. So L is 2, L is 0 and here s is 0. So L minus s to L plus s for various combinations you will write for 2 and 0 and for 0 and 0 in this case. And then simply you will finally be able to write the spectroscopic terms. You will also have to consider the 1, okay, and corresponding resultant spin and find the values of J. So this is the main thing in the Bright's scheme which every student must know and now after knowing about it you will never make mistake in considering the total spin corresponding to the uh, orbital quantum number. Clear? So guys I hope now it is clear to you that when you have to take the resultant spin or the total spin 0 and when you have to take it as 1. So like for in this case, when you are taking it as 1, okay, M, uh, ML is equal to 1, um, 0 and minus 1, that means L is equal to 1, which means spin can be equal to 1 as well. Okay, can be same as well. So both the conditions will get satisfied. So guys, I hope now in this video, whatever discussion I have done with you uh, related to this topic will be clear to everyone. Even in upcoming videos, you will get some of the questions based on it to get the answer quickly and in less time. So yeah, keep on watching all the videos I will provide you on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam. All the videos will surely help you in doing the best preparation for the exam. So thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end. Also, if you want to get the guidance uh, for your exam preparation by the top educators, then you can also take the Unacademy Plus subscription after taking the Unacademy Plus subscription, you will be able to attend the more regular live classes by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your exam preparation. Clear? So guys, in that case, uh, you will get so many benefits after taking the Unacademy Plus subscription like weekly quizzes, now clearing sessions, mock tests, PDF of important notes, okay, recordings of the live classes will be available to you. Also guys, by using the referral code which is Anjali Arora, Okay, in which you just don't need to uh, leave any space in between, write all the alphabets together. So write Anjali Aurora and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. You can use this referral code. 
Steps to take the subscription are uh, download the Unacademy Learning app, log into the app, select your goal. Your goal will be CSR UGC NET. If you are preparing for CSR NET physics exam or any category CSR NET exam, after that, what you need to do next? Just uh, click on the three lines in the left hand side corner, then click on plus, then click on get subscription and follow the further steps. That's how you will easily be able to take the Unacademy Plus subscription. And thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end. If you are new on this channel, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Thank you very much everyone. Thank you.